The word obsession encompasses the mindset of everyone at Mossy Oak. We obsess over hiding from, chasing, and conserving the critters we pursue. In this episode, we follow two-time BASS Angler of the Year, Gerald Swindle, as we hunt his home dirt in Alabama. This is The Obsessed. My passion for deer hunting, that no one say, now that is an obsession right there. My passion for deer hunting is, uh, it's sickening. It's over the top. Uh, my wife says all the time that if I don't catch them, I can't afford to deer hunt. But deer hunting is truly an obsession for Gerald Swindle and his family because that's what we do as a family. We enjoy the outdoors. We get out, we plant food plots, we get on the tractor. We ride the fields, we work together, we tell stories together, we overcome adversity together from a bush hog not working, from a disc breaking down. We learn lessons in the outdoors that you can't learn in the biggest university in the world. We're sitting right in the middle of 360 acres that I bought uh, with my wife through fishing and, and chasing a dream, and we started this project as also a dream. That we wanted to have our own property and create a great deer habitat we just had no idea how much work we were willing to put into it or had to put into it to get it where it is today. That's where obsession comes in, is we work when it didn't look like it was gonna pay off. We work when it was hot. We haven't harvested that many deer, haven't shot that much here. But this is the Swindle Farm, it's 360 acres. It's our little piece of the world that we call heaven. Nothing but big old tall loblolly pines and some oak trees and red clay roads and green fields. But to us, it's like, you know, the golden streets of heaven. This is where we want to come to get away, the Swindle Farm. Can we pull a, a trail camera car together? My wife sits down and she says, we have three sets of triplets and twins. You see the smile on her face. See, you took some woman, when, when I married Leanne, that, that really wasn't in the hunt. You would have never probably convinced her to ever go hunt, much less bow hunt or shoot a deer. And now she is full circle and she knows the money that we spend when she sees those camera pictures and she sees all the fawns and the mothers and they're all happy. She's like, we did this. We created a habitat. We created a better life for deer. And she said, when you do that, you have a much better understanding for shooting the old deer off the property. A lot of time spent simply raising deer. No high fence, no nothing, hard earned money, protein, food plots, tractor time just to run trail cameras and say, we've increased the herd size. That's what obsessed is. That's what obsession is. When you're willing to take on a giant piece of land, change the footprint of it, spend your hard on money just to make a herd of deer healthier that's not even yours, yeah, that's obsessed. You know, we talk a lot and you see a lot on TV hunting shows and people talk about why they hunt. This piece right here, obsessed. Yeah, I'm truly obsessed with hunting. And for years, my wife really didn't get it. She really didn't. She said, every morning you wake up, every morning, for years, she said, you'll get up and you haven't seen nothing in the last five, six days. And you get up and you always say, today's the day. Today's the day. And she said, I just don't get it. And this is six or seven years had rocked by. This has only happened about two years ago. And she sat me down one day, she said, I don't get it. She said, why do you go when you know he's not gonna move? Why do you go when you know it's, the weather's not right? What, what truly drives you to get up every morning, no sleep? And I said, if you really wanna know, I said, I truly might not even be hunting for a deer. And she said, I don't really understand it. And I said, on one of the last hunts I ever had with my brother before he died, it was a cold, frosty morning in South Alabama. I never will forget, it was a snow white frost, no wind, he would just started chemo, he would gotten really weak, and I'm walking him down a power line in South Alabama, and he's propped up on my shoulder. And I can remember walking down there hearing that, the crunch of the frost under our feet, knowing in my heart this may very well be the last time he ever walks in the woods with me again. And I, it had a distinct smell when the dew started melting, the frost started unthawing. It had a very distinct smell that morning, and I've never forgotten. And I said, honey, so a lot of mornings when I tell you that I, today's the day, today's the day, I said, sometimes I'm just hunting for a smell. 
I just simply want to go till I smell that one smell again, that one time when you relive life, whether it's with your grandpa or your dad. Mine just so happened to be with my brother. You know, in about two or three times a year, it happens. I smell that smell. I have that relapse in time where I'm like, this is it. This is what it's all about. And she just kind of shook her head. She said, I get it. She said, you truly sometimes, I don't even care if you got a gun or a bow, do you? I said, no. It ain't what I'm looking to kill. It's simply sometimes what I'm looking to smell or what I'm looking to see to take me back in time. I think that's what hunting is to me. Hunting has etched memories in my mind with my dad from bird hunting to squirrel hunting, from my granddad to squirrel hunting, to the very last hunt I ever had in the tree stand with my brother. Hunting's made a permanent line in my memory and on my brain and and I want to go back to those times. And the only way you can do that, folks, is you truly got to be obsessed enough to get up and go, even when you think the deer is not going to be moving. What does the word obsessed mean to me? Uh, obsessed means uh, willing to work, do whatever, go the extra mile. Whatever you have to do to be successful with something you love or to be the best at your hobby, Obsessed means a guy who's willing to go above and beyond what a job calls for to be successful. I am Gerald Swindle and I am obsessed.